Today, it's Murara Kebaso. Tomorrow, it could be you or me. We cannot surrender our republic to cartels. If we allow Ruto and his government to take away this from Kenyans, then we would have killed our democracy. This is the cornerstone of our democracy, and we will not allow him to kill it. And we do remember that in 2010, he voted against this constitution. Concerned about these matters, not just as advocates, but Kenyans of all walks of life. We are here to defend our freedom of express institution. Today, it's Murara Kebaso and Ferdinand Waititu. Tomorrow, it could be you or me. When we defend their rights, we defend our own rights. I want to salute the LSK for always being present to defend the rights of Kenyans. I want to salute my colleagues not just the politicians, but uh, the professional colleagues who are here present, for always being present. Together as Kenyans, we really must defend our freedoms, our sovereignty, and the matters are many. I don't want to go into the matters, but these are distractions. Today, what is that thing called? Shif. My mind has refused to know it, but it is now our health, our right to quality health is being destroyed today. They distract us in court while they are doing wrong things. We can only vow that we will continue fighting. We cannot surrender our republic to cartels. Thank you. Thank you. I think just to add to what uh, senior counsel has said, today we believe that freedom of expression and freedom of speech was on trial. Not Governor Babayao, not Morara. It was fundamental rights that are under threat. Mm -hmm. If we allow Ruto and his government to take away this from Kenyans, then we would have killed our democracy. This is the cornerstone of our democracy, and we will not allow him to kill it. Thank you very much. I associate myself with that. He wanted to say something on behalf of LSK. Oh, LSK. Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Steve um, Bogowanjiru. I think uh, what we have witnessed today is a serious uh, misuse of police power and attempts by the state to misuse the criminal justice system to try and uh, curtail our freedom of expression, that we cannot hold the government accountable, what uh, Murara has been doing, uh, the statement that uh, Honorable Waititu made, had no in any way contravened any part of our laws. And what we have witnessed today was that particular option, as in a way the state has tried its own mechanism, which I've been doing, we have witnessed for the last many months and many years, to misuse their powers to limit our freedom of expression. We do call upon the head of state and his KK regime that they need to respect the constitution of Kenya. And we do remember that in 2010 he voted against this constitution. But we want to remind him that this constitution binds each and every one of us and it must be respected and people have the freedom to express themselves, freedom to hold the government accountable, and we demand proper accountability, and they cannot do that. Then the other option is for them to step aside and pave way for proper and better leadership that respect the rule of law and respect this country and its people. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.